Welcome to Tiffany Lung at home. Look what I have for you today. I'm going to show you how to make bun xào. People also call Vietnamese pizza or pancake or crepe or whatever. But anyway, it tastes wonderful. So follow me. If you see what you like, I will teach you how. I'm going to show you how to um, do bun xào. It is very easy to go through all the ingredients for you. Um, so you need pork shoulder. So I have one and a half pounds here. Um, bean sprout, onion, and a little sh shallot. And then also I have um, one and a half pounds shrimp. So you can use the peel one because my family like the peel one so they don't have to go through with the skin. But you can also use the shrimp with shell and the head if you like to eat that. So um, it's easy. Remember I teach my... Cooking is for everyone, not just um, people can um, do vegetarian's dish and you don't have to put meat in it if you don't want to or shrimp you don't want to. You can even put squid if you want to. So uh, just most important thing is the batter. This video, I will talk about the batter. I use this kind. I like it because remember my um, kind of video is easy for you to make the the, my next one, I will mix the one I mix myself. But for you, it's easy to start with the this kind of um, batter. They already pack for you and they already mix everything in here. So you just open now and I'm going to show you my way how to mix them. Okay. And then you can also add um, mushroom. So this is organic oyster mushroom. If you don't eat meat, you can just uh, put the oyster mushroom and the bean sprout and onion, great. So you don't have to, um, you can feed for everybody. Can Don't have to be like, I love to bun sell because you can have people don't eat meat or don't eat seafood or don't eat um, certain things. You can make everybody loves it because it's very easy to make because you don't put it in if you don't want to. Okay, so that is a little bit of main ingredients and also the most important thing is beer. And you will understand why I pick beers and you will see a little bit uh, when I mix the batter. Okay, all right, so let's put this on the side. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to mix the batter really easy. A um, lot of time you can read the ingredient in the back. You can mix them if you follow, you want to follow them, great. But it doesn't take you that crispy taste and it doesn't give you that um, more tasty on bun xào, okay? Um, I, people also call Vietnamese pizza or taco, Vietnamese taco, whatever you like to say, but um, I want to use Vietnamese word is bun xào. Okay, and I will explain to you why they call bun cell when I cook them. Okay, all right. So if you want to follow the in instruction right here, you can. But the way I um, I will do my way, so you can do my ways more crispy and and delicious for my family. So I use this kind. It's called hương xưa, and you can use many kind in um, Asian market. You can do that. Okay. So first of all, in this bag. And you can see here the measurement and it's 500 gram of all the ingredient is here is um, right um, right flowers cornstarch and it's really easy to make right pancake and it's very um, uh, easy to mix so they already have iron they already have um, uh, also turmeric in here already so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this bag and I'm going to pour it into a big huge um, bowl. All right. I want to mix my batter first before I prepare everything else. All right. There you go. Perfect. Make sure you get everything out of the bag. Okay. So now you get all the stuff in the bag and I'm going to kind of mix around it before I pour everything in. Okay. So in the bag we'll say four and a half, four and four cup and one four of water. But I'm going to substitute 
and uh, my bánh xèo, okay, <laughs> my Vietnamese pizza is going to be a uh, beer. Um, you can use any kind of beer you like, but whatever your home have them, it's okay, you can use. So right now I'm using Hennigan, but again, you can use any type of beer. If you don't want to put beer into the batter, you can use uh, club soda. You can do club soda. I Some people will use coconut milk and coconut and stuff like that. Honestly, um, I come from the, you know, from the South and the middle of the South here in Da Nang. We don't like to have, um, you know, very uh, more like, we, we like everything is not so um, uh, sweet taste, okay? So I like mine, it's very um, more tasty, okay, uh, of a pair of pancakes. So you can see one bottle of um, beer is one and one, one and one third cup, okay, right there, okay? So I'm gonna pour in here, there you go. All right, so now I'm gonna mix it up real quick. So I substitute some of the water into my beer, one, one bottle or one can of beer. So you can see it get thicker right there. It's a trick out of it. So some people just pour it in, but I like to mix mine just with the beer first. And it getting thick like that. And you see it turn yellow because it has turmeric in it. You can add more turmeric, more yellow if you like. So now it gets thicker, okay? So now I'm going to add my, the water, not too cold, but not too hot, kind of lukewarm water. So I'm gonna add it in. Okay, now this is two cups. So I have one cup and one third. Now it's three cup and one third, okay? Then I'm going to need another one cup All right, so I need less than one cup right there, okay? There you go. Because you need four cup and four, one four in the bag. But usually I put a little four cup, a little bit more, that's it, okay? Because better to make make it uh, not too um, liquidy, okay? When you do a pancake. So I'm gonna mix everything up. So in here I have one bottle of beer, okay? And then the rest of it, I will add lukewarm water. So I mix it all up. It's very easy to mix. This is the rye flowers. Most of it is 90% is rye flowers and some of the cornstarch. The cornstarch is the one who makes it crispy. Okay, so now I mix it all together. Okay, this is my secret. And that's why a lot of people ask me how come my cell is so crispy. And here I'm gonna show you today. All right, so now mix everything up. All right, so this is my extra corn starch. So my secret is one bag but i also add a little more cornstarch because i know in the bag they don't put that much so i add another one tablespoon of cornstarch into my batter okay i do not add much more water or anything so i just add a little bit more okay mix it up then also i add in half a teaspoon half a tablespoon of uh, mushroom seasoning. Because if you eat my um, Vietnamese pancake, or you can call Vietnamese pizza, um, it's very tasty. There you go, so it's all mixed. This is the most important for bánh xào. So all mix up like that, and I will leave it in for 20 minutes before I start to make all the bánh xào, okay? All right, so I'm gonna leave this on the side.
The batter is done, so now it's time for you to prepare the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to prepare my vegetable first before I prepare my meat and shrimp, okay? So you have this um, oyster mushroom. So you, I'm loving it, put in um, bensel because it's gonna make very, um, uh, real tasty and it makes very sweet. And also the textures is great with it. So I'm gonna make very tiny. It's kind of same size of the um, bean shrimp, okay? Uh, some people will put, you know, different vegetable in it, but I like mushroom with it. As they, you know, everybody have their own way. So you just cook the way your family love and um, easy for you. Okay, so you just cut the mushroom very long string. Okay, uh, you don't want it too thick. You want it a long string and very um, thin because it's gonna be easy to cook. And also you don't like it too uh, watery. But you want it crispy. Okay. There you go. So you're gonna put on the side. And later, we'll show you how to prepare and cook them. Okay, then my onion, something very thin. I put a lot of onion. I like, um, my family like the lot of onion. A lot of time, my daughter will pick the onion. They don't eat the meat, but they eat the onion. So they like it, a lot of onion. So we, I'm going to do one and a half. One and a half. Now I'm going to cut my shallot for my, um, to do stir fry for my uh, pork and also the shrimp. So this is a very, you know, some people do um, raw meat and then they will um, do stir fry same time and they make the, um, the batter. But for me, I like make sure the pork cook and also tastes good. So I am always cook first before, uh, and also make the um, the meat real dry. So I'm gonna drop it off, just like that. Don't have to be very thin, okay? Right there. All right, so I'm gonna put on the side. All right. So my trick was cook so fast is I cut all my vegetable first, and then, I will cut my meat. So now this is my pork shoulder. I love pork shoulder because it's um, it's not too dry and also it's not that much fat. And you want when when sell you want a little bit but not too much. My my family we want to make sure um, not too much fat in our dish. Okay. So I cut the meat just like that, and you can see the um, it like. Uh, three different colors. So it's have like uh, meat here and a little tiny fat line and then um, It's like a three three layers. So you can cut just very thin There And don't cut on this side so that way the meat not is too tough Okay, so this will be easy for you to understand um, how to cut the meat. You slide out and you can see all this vein. That's not good to cut that side. So you have to cut opposite side. So that way you make cut easy and also when you cook is it make the meat more tender. And it go with pork or beef. So I slide this out. Remember, very thin. Um, some people will do bacon some people would do you know um pork belly um but i like i like um shoulder pork shoulder better there you go i cook a lot with pork shoulder the meat is more tender one thing but it's also is a very good meat for to do any dish and when I buy like that, I can cook so many ways. OK, 
Okay, so when I cut, I look at my uh, meat and see which way is a good way. So I'm going to turn this side. There. So you have to make sure you look at your, when you cut your meat, okay? And if anything um, fat or any, um, you know, tendon or stuff like that, you need to cut it off. See, I use the, any skin or any, um, I take it off. There you go. All right, so let me see, done. There. So now I'm going to show you how to marinate them before we start to cook. All right, so I'm gonna put my bowl on the side. Okay, so here you go. So I have the meat there already. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay, so here's the meat. I'm going to marinate. A lot of time people don't. They just uh, leave the meat like this and they put in. That's why most people will use um, uh, pork belly so they have a little fat so they don't use that much oil and stuff. But um, this is the best way I know. Make sure my kid don't have stomach ache or I know the pork will cook well and it tastes better to, you know, for all this year I make, um, you know, Okay, so I'm using in this meat right here, I'm using half a teaspoon, a half a tablespoon of um, mushroom seasoning. Okay, all right. Then I'm going to use pepper. Okay, the pepper is depend on your family. So you can use less or more depend on, on your family. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to do one tablespoon of fish sauce. Okay, then I'm going to mix all this up. Also, I'm going to put a little bit of um, red powder. You know, um, this, I love that, the red powder. And I just put a little bit so when you stir fry, you're going to have a little color. Everything cooking is um, make it pretty and taste good. <laughs> so mix it so good. There. All right. So I'm gonna marinate them for ten minutes. All right. So now I'm going to marinate the shrimp. Same way. I'm going shrimp half tablespoon of mushrooms seasoning okay and then the pepper i do not put um fish sauce in the shrimp i just that enough of seasoning for the shrimp because the shrimp i don't want it all too much of seasoning and then it tastes remember in the in the flour you are already seasoning also so i mix it all up Okay, because remember the reason I doing this is because the shrimp is it cook very fast, so I don't want it overcook the shrimp. So there you go. Okay, so we prepare everything already for bensel. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the sauce to dip into bensel. Uh, bensel have different um type of sauce depend where you live depend on you live in the north side the south side or even the south side the middle way like Da Nang or Hue we eat different sauce but next time I will show you that that's my favorite but today's first video Ben Sao I want to make it simple for you to follow first and most of the time people eat the fish sauce we kind of sweet and sour and a little spicy so it's very easy to um to mix so first thing what you need to do is you need one can of uh, coconut soda so i like this kind because i cook with it and i make um fish sauce with it so it's kind of like natural coconut uh, flavor soda so i'm gonna use one can so i'm gonna open this up real quick 
I'm going to pour it into the bowl. And also, a lot of time I mix this a lot and keep in the refrigerator. And my kid can eat with, you know, um, gum yeah or boom thịt nướng or any kind of, um, you know, uh, barbecue. They can do that. Okay, so one can. And then I'm going to pour into this bowl right here. And again, depend on your family, depend on how much to get. So I'm going to use um, this little spoon right here. This is a cup. So I'm going to pour in here. And this uh, spoon is one four uh, cup of fish sauce. Okay. There. Okay. So I'm going to put another one. So it's like a half a cup. All right, so put in there. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to stir everything around. There. Okay, again, depend on your family. They like more sweet or they like more salty. Depend on you. So I mix it very well. So after that, okay, I'm going to use lemon or lamb. So I, I like lamb better to you to do um, any of um, fish sauce. So before I do that, I kind of roll around like this to make it softer. Okay. All right. This one is huge. So again, just remember to taste them. But and also depend on the seasoning. Um, they have sometimes they have a good one, sometimes they don't, you know. Uh, like this one is pretty tight. The um, you see the pus is very tight, and it they do have good liquid. So you make sure you taste the fish sauce because um I cannot tell you oh you're gonna use one half or half of lemon or a half of lamb because depend on how much juice you can get out of it, okay? So I'm kind of, you see my trick, um, uh, another video I use, just use a spoon and get all the juice out. So I didn't use that much yet, okay? I'm going to stir. Is any C, I'm going to take it out, okay? All right, so now I'm going to taste it and see if it's good or do I need more lemon or not. Very nice, but I need a little bit more lemon. Okay, because I like, um, my family like a little sour. All right, make sure you taste in it, okay? Because it depends on um, how big the lemon. The lemon will, will make the sauce. Perfect. Okay, I stir it again. And sometimes, if um, you want it pretty, you can just scrape out the the inside, you know, all this pus up in the lemon. You can make the sauce, or you can cut the, the lemon in half and take the spoon and get all the pus out if you like to. Okay, so I'm going to take this real quick. All right, I'm do right there. All right, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to put uh, garlics and. Uh, chili peppers, fresh chili peppers, and make the sauce more pretty. So you can see the sauce there. I'm going to get um, garlic here. So I'm going to snap down like that. Okay. I'm going to you two. All right. Then I'm going to put side by side and just cut real quick. There. There you go. I like it fresh and then you don't have to be make it perfect just chop very uh, I like it lay on top the sauce is very important again it's a little sour it's a little salty it's a little sweet because everything else is already marinated and some people like it more sweet. You can add a little bit more sugar. But I use the coconut soda, so I don't add no sugar for my family. But if you like more sweet, you can add. Okay? All right, so I'm done with that. I'm going to drop into my fish sauce there. 
okay now tulip depend on you know if you have children at home um usually what i do is i take uh, kind of cut in half like that and i'm going to slide all the c and you can get the spoon you can do that also um because the c will make more spicy okay so i just like that all right but my kid it loves spicy so i don't have to do that but depend if you don't like spicy you can just take that and slide it out and then you can clean your knife off that way it doesn't get into the the fish sauce okay then i'm just chop it real fine so it will lay on top okay there Perfect. Remember, after you cut this, you need to wash your hand because <laughs> you don't want to put this in your eye. Okay, it's going to burn. So take that and put on top of it. So beautiful. There you go. Okay, now stir well. And one more thing um, I like, okay, um, this you can buy Asian market if you want your sauce more colorful and more spicy. Um, this is real good, but it's not that spicy. It's have, um, it's kind of, it's called, uh, pickle, ground rat chili and garlic vinegar. So it, it keeps a little beautiful color and also, um, it have a little vinegar in it also. So I put a little bit in there and it's just, I just like the color of it and I just like more, uh, make it more pretty, but it doesn't, uh, if I use too much red pepper, it's too spicy. So I, every time I um, do any fish sauce, I usually add a little of this in. So you can see my um, my fish sauce now. It looks so gorgeous, beautiful. Now you can put um, carrots and then also you can make a little of uh, vinegar, sugars, uh, salad out of it and put on top. That's up to you. This is amazing simple easy and it delicious here's your sauce up and set okay now i'm going to show you how to do the fill in the ben cell is how to stir the pork shoulder and also make this very tasty so i'm going to put a little of oil and in the pot like that okay all right i love this pan it's an oil pan and also it's like cook with everything but this is the one I'm gonna do and sell on. It is so amazing pot to use. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna put shallot. You know, we chopped earlier into here. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna stir around and down. Perfect. All right, very good. Now, I'm gonna put, remember we already marinate the pork shoulder uh, for 10 minutes, okay? So I'm going to put in here, just like that. Ah, oh, I wish you could smell it. So good. And you can still stir it out until it's cooked. Okay. So if I cook, so it's the, you know, the way I prepare like this, I don't have to worry about the meat not cooking, and also uh, I can control the juice out of the meat, so that way it's not, um, you know, make the bensel wet. So if you go to um, university or if you marry move away and you you know craving your mom cooking so here we go uh, you can watch my video and you can create um, your home cooked meal your mom used to make for you also some people who is um, a Vietnamese food lover who is love Vietnamese food now is your chance you can make your own at home so, um, did you see how I stir well there to make the meat uh, cook? So that way, make my bun so 
uh, real fast, it cooked real fast, and also you can see it's no um, liquid, and you don't you don't want no liquid, so you want to make sure everything is dry. Uh, sometimes if your meat um, in the frozen for so long, you can also stir fry like this. But if you see any liquid, you can just take a drainer and drain it out and leave it out for when it's dry. So you don't want any um, any water or any liquid of the, 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 the juice, okay? So you can see now it's got almost cooked. Smells so good. So you can see the meat getting very uh, turned white. The pork is when it's red, but when it's uh, cooking, it turned very white. Now it's almost done. Okay, I put the shrimp. But the shrimp take very fast. Okay, then I'm going to put the shrimp in. All right, so then now I'm gonna put the shrimp. And stir. Great. So let, very fast because you don't want it overcooked. So there. And the shrimp is easy for you to know it's cooked. It turned color right away. You can do this ahead, so that way you don't have to worry. You don't worry about, oh my god, you my meat cook yet, or my shrimp work yet. Again, if you eat with the shrimp with the skin, you can do that. To get the last, sometimes I cook with the skin, but my kids, they don't want it to, you know, uh, have to peel the, the skin. So I make this bun sale the easy way first. And later on, I will show you another way how to do bun sale. A band's way, okay? Now is great. So you don't want it overcooked. So you're gonna turn the heat off and you're gonna leave it in stove on top like this for few minutes, like five minutes, okay? And uh, let it cool down. And if any water, uh, any liquid drains it, and make sure the meat is very dry. So I'm going to show you that uh, later, okay? Now, it's cool down, and you can see some liquid there. So you can take it out like that, okay? And you're going to put into a box or a bowl or Tupperwares, okay? So I put like this, so make sure it's dry. So take all the meat out. There you go. And also, some people ask me, do I have to use pork? I said, no, no, no. You can do with chicken. You can do with vegetable only. You can do with beef. You can do any meat you want. So, but the, you know, the the pancake itself, the flour is the most important thing. So just make sure everything is dry. There, okay. So there you go. And this uh, broth, you can use that uh, to make um, any soup or any stir fry if you like. Okay, before you going to cook the pencil, you're gonna need a tray like this, so that way uh, when it's done, it sit on here, so that way it makes it crispy. You get your vegetable ready, you have onion, mushroom ready, and then you have your meat ready, and then also your flour ready. And then your pants is over here. Okay, so it's all ready, and this is your pencil station look like. Now you turn the heat very high, so you make sure it's, it's hot, it's very high first, okay? So get your, um, you know, your pan is perfect. Use the cell, use the old pan, it's so much better than um, the new one. So that's why it's not sticking. And um, also the old one is it doing cells so 
the taste is better and also is much more uh, crispy. So I'm going to use just a little oil like that, not too much, okay? So kind of go around like this. Okay, now again, it's a very high heat first because the first one always high heat first, okay? Now, I am, it's hot. The oil is hot. Now I'm going to stir the, the flowers, okay? And then now I'm going to turn the pan on the side like this, just like that. Make sure all the oil will go around. going to use that pan like that and just make sure it cover all and that's why you, you hear the noise sale. That's why the name is bun sale because the noise of the sale when you put hot oil and then also the um, the flowers into the oil, it makes that noise. That's why the name is come from. So right now it's high heat. I'm gonna turn it to medium. Okay, I'm gonna keep it medium. So now I'm going to put my um, the mushroom okay and I'm going to put the meat and the shrimps like that depending on how much you want to put in it depend on your family okay right there perfect okay then uh, now you're going to put your onion I just put one side I always put one side I do not put both sides okay and then my bean sprout like that in that look yummy okay so you get all that and right now is low heat, uh, medium heat. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the cover on top for about two minutes. So I'm gonna put two minutes, that way it's, uh, the steam will go into the, the bean straw and also the um, um, the mushrooms. So it's gonna cook the meat, you don't have to worry because it's already cooked, okay? All right, so now you get the heat that put there, and then just take time, don't hurry. Um, don't get too hurry because you can hurry, it's going to be not crispy. Now I'm gonna take the uh, cover off. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil on the side. Okay, and you can see it's starting to peel off on the side like that. Okay, like that. Okay, so that way you have a wonderful um, bun sale, and then very very crispy. Then it's medium heat right now, so it get um, to all the way end. And this is the first one. The more you go to um, cook, the more it will be uh, perfect. And you see how crispy is that? Amazing, huh? Okay, and just go around. Perfect. So see, it's move like that. And um, a lot of people use a lot of oil. Um, I don't, just enough, okay? But not too much oil. And you see how crispy that is? Yum. Okay, so I'm going to turn that or turn over. Ooh, delicious. There you go. Look at that beautiful color. And look at that. It's so crispy. So I'm going to move it on around. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the middle and turn 
it over like that. So that way I can move my pencil around easier. There you go. Look at that. And see how crispy are amazing. Look at that. And this is the first one. Usually the first one is very hard because you have to make sure the stove is, is red, the, the pan is right heat and everything. And you see, look at how crispy it is. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to move this to my uh, tray. Earlier I show you, okay? I'm going to move that over my tray. Okay, so now is the pan again. And we're going to do another one. So when the pan is like that, you're going to put a little oil. And the second one will be easier, and the third one will be easier because the pan is already um, preheat and also it's already sealed, so it's much easier for you. Okay? All right, so now it's still. I'm going to turn it on a little bit high heat and move around. Okay? All right? So now the stir, uh, the pan is already cooked one. So we're going to do a second one and you can see how easier. Okay? So make sure every time you have to stir the flowers. Okay? So now I'm going to turn the pan on the side. I'm going to put this and move my hand move and keep going and going around cover every single hole there you go perfect now I'm going to turn the heat down to medium okay and now to medium I'm going to put um, the meat you can do the meat first, you can do the vegetable first, that's up to you. And if you want the meat show at the outside, you can do the meat and the shrimp first. Okay, and then you're going to put mushroom. And you're going to put onion. onion and then you put bean sprout again right now is medium heat okay and you cover and keep repeat like that so I'm going to do feel one for you and so and then um, I can show you how it's dry so that way you can see how crispy it is I uh, keep do it like that. Um, could I make it big? You can make it very small, uh, with small pans if you want. But um, you know, I want to make it big so that way it's <laughs> faster. Uh, and uh, and also, you know, one person that can eat one. Uh, okay, I have big girl and big boy. So now is two or three minutes depend on uh, how much you put on there so now you can see the vegetables cook a little bit so you're going to put a little oil on both sides so when i turn so you don't have to do that's why i love using this bottle so that way you don't put that much of oil so i move around and you wait until all the sign. You can see the second one is so much easier. And you can see it open easier than the first one. Okay? So I like that. And you can move around. Yeah. It's all controlled by heat. Okay? And you just move. Ah, amazing. There. And you turn the up like that. Woo! Look amazing. Delicious. And you can move around. 
there, okay, and then just do it like this. Again, if you want it easy, you can just put more oil you like, but I control my oil. And sometimes I slip over like that, so that way it's more, you know, it's more crispy uh, on, uh, on another side if you want to. There. Just go just like that. And it's so crispy and so beautiful. All right. And you can see, and I will turn around again. Now, I'm going to show you make another one. Okay, so the pan is hot and you're going to put into uh, high heat, just a little bit, and then you're going to put the little oil and go around. Okay, and now you're going to put the flowers. All right, so now you turn the pan like that and you put. Let's show you what well, that's why we have that that um that name. So you can just turn, turn, turn. There. Okay, and turn down to medium heat. Medium to low, so that way it's not too high, 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 high. Um only high you will go is the one the beginning. Okay? All right, so you're gonna put all your meat. So this way you don't have to worry about your meat will cook or not, or you know, so this will be no liquid, so it makes it so much more uh, crispy and delicious. There, and now mushroom, and then onion. Again, if you have somebody don't eat meat, you just, Make one for them, just vegetable only, uh, no meat. And they can eat with uh, soy sauce. You can make same, um, same sauce, but substitute fish sauce to soy sauce. All right, so cook in there in two to three minutes until the vegetable is kind of cooked. Because remember, you don't want it, um, the vegetable really cook because uh, that way is the, um, the liquid of the vegetable and also I wanted the vegetable inside it's just right not overcook and it's just so beautiful and crispy all right so now I'm going to take it out and you can see the vegetable kind of Roll down a little bit, and then I'm gonna put oil on both sides, just like this. Okay. All right. Let move them around. So just wait. All the bubble on the side will raise up. That how it make uh, very crispy. When so, just take time. You cannot be hurry, and you cannot be cooked too fast. Okay, so it just take time and it make um, the more time you go on to slow down, the more time it's crispy and it much more last longer. There you go. That's just smooth around like that. And you can use a little brush of oil. Um, you can put around if you want to. Some people use a lot of oil to do bensel, but you know, um, you control. I try to control as much I can. And this recipe I make and my bensel is very, very crispy and very delicious. Okay. 
and you can see the turn. See how it turned? Okay, and just lift it up like that. Okay. Lift it up like that. And same way here. Just make sure it's all cut. Alright, turn over. Yeah. And you can see that. Okay, move this on the side. There you go. So I'm gonna make that another side crispy and it's still like full. There you go. And make sure that side to uh, be crispy. Again, you can add a little bit more underneath. If you want more crispy, you keep adding if you like, okay? But I add little, little. So you can see my, you can see there, and later you can see my, uh, my, um, let me tell, it's not that much oil when you eat. And also, oil drips it down, okay? It just move around. Again, you know, it's depend on, um, on how you cook them. Okay, so I just put there for a few minutes. And I'm going to turn over. Yay. There. And then I'm going to leave another side to make another side this space. I see how beautiful color is. It's so gorgeous color. Okay. There, just keep moving. I see how crispy is this. Look at this. So crispy. Look. It's so crispy all the way in. So it's just the time and the heat and how you control um, to make them so very crispy. Yeah. Alright, so that's awesome. Then now is wonderful. Alright, so now it's tasting time, but today I make this meal for my family and their friend. So I have two tasting guests today. So one on my right is that. One on my left is Nikki. So my kid friends, so they're gonna taste for me. You ready? Yes. Da -da 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 -da. ready. So what we do is we have already have rice uh, paper, right? So first, you, I'm going to teach them how to wrap too. So you're going to take, you see all sort of lettuce I have here. So each of you have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so That's then you. this is mustard green. It's oh, delicious. So can you eat mustard green? Can you? Yes. Mustard yeah? Green. yeah. Okay. So mm. here you go. All right. Yeah. And then this, all this, um, Green herbs and uh, all these herbs, okay, is my garden. So it's, it's, um, I grow out of my garden. So it's wonderful. So it tastes wonderful. Here you go. So you put a whole bunch of herbs in, okay. Um, so you can get all this stuff from um, from the uh, from Asian market if you like to buy them, or you grow your own like myself, right? So I think that's good. And this is chow. If you can eat that, okay. And then, of course, you have to have cucumber, okay. Mm. All right, here's cucumber. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can eat a uh, plantain, you can you can put plantain if you want to. But this boy don't like them, I don't think so. Here you go. You want plantain? Oh, sorry. There you go. Here you go. You want plantain? So here you go. So I'm gonna have my. Ooh, I hope you hear this noise. Look at this. Ooh. Do you hear that? Yes. Oh. Wow. Do you hear that? So, there you go. That's why I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> you hear that noise? There you go. It's so delicious. So, you put all the stuff. So, here you go. Okay. All right. Wrap it up. All right. Wrap it here, up. I'll give you a little All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm the best here. Right. You want to wrap it up? There you go. Good job. Okay. See who's winning. Burrito oh, okay. <laughs> 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 bus is open. See who's bus open. Yeah. Oh, 
open all right look at that so i this is what i like i like to cook oh hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, it's not fair. He's Vietnamese. Uh, no, okay, so I give you credit for Only it. Only had a couple of uh, times. That's so. right. Oh, hey, there you go. did good. So, cheer. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. your taste and see how you like. So, you have fish sauce there. It's delicious. Right. Yum. <laughs> mm. Oh, what mm. do you think? How are you guys then? Mm. They can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Is that crispy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there you go, guy. It's bun sale. It's very crispy and very tasty. And mm -hmm. this guy proved it. All right. Okay. Follow me. Like, comment, and subscribe. And see my next video coming soon.